Boot Camp Assistant is needed for Windows 10 drivers. Load Boot Camp Assistant, click Action, Download Windows Support Software. Close Boot Camp Assistant. In the Windows Support folder, you will notice there is a Boot Camp folder, and inside there is a setup.exe which we will use on Windows 10 to install all the drivers. You will need a copy of Windows 10 ISO, which is easily accessible from the Microsoft website. It's very important to download a 64-bit version of Windows 10 due to driver restrictions. Plug in your portable hard drive. This will be visible on the desktop of your Mac. I will be using VirtualBox with Windows 10 to install Win to USB, which will allow us to install the Windows files onto the portable hard drive. You will notice within my computer the drive currently isn't visible. This is because it's currently mounted to the host machine, so you will need to eject it. Go to devices at the top of the screen, down to USB and tick the hard drive. You will need to load Computer Manager to be able to prep the hard drive for installation. The goal is to have a GPT disk with two partitions. The first partition needs to be set to 200 megabytes at FAT32 and the second partition can be any size you want, making sure it's at least 40 gig and set to an NTFS file system. You now need to download and install Win to USB to carry on with the next step. When the software is installed and loaded, you are able to locate the ISO or read from a CD drive. After selecting the version, you will then need to select the USB hard drive. Select the 200 meg partition in the top option and the second partition in the bottom option. Please make sure legacy is ticked and click next. After the installation is completed, close the program and shut down your Windows client. You will notice the USB hard drive will reappear on the desktop. For this next step, I use this hard drive to copy the earlier download for Windows 10 drivers. You can do the same or use another hard drive or pen drive. When the copy is complete, eject the USB and shut down the Mac. When the Mac is turned off, plug the USB hard drive back in. After hitting the power button, you will need to hold Alt key until the USB drive is visible and then highlight this and hit enter.
Windows will restart when installing. You will need to repeat holding down the Alt key. If you miss this, just turn off the Mac, reboot from the USB drive and it will carry on from where it left off. Go through the standard Windows 10 setup. You will need to skip connecting to the internet option as we don't have the drivers for the Wi-Fi or the Ethernet port. When you have finished installing Windows, the last step would be to load the setup.exe from the bootcamp drivers we copied earlier. When this application is finished, it will ask to restart your laptop. On the next turn on, all your drivers will be installed, graphic, sound and Wi-Fi, but be warned it can take a couple of extra minutes to pair on the first time. Congratulations on the installation of Windows 10 on a USB hard drive. You are now able to boot from that hard drive on your Mac at any time and also from most modern computers.